Welcome back to Rashad's Garage, and today is just an update. Um, I did buy that computer like people recommended for the Jeep. Oh, this is getting worse. I need to fix that. But I bought the computer like everybody recommended, and unfortunately, that wasn't the issue. Um, I put it in there. still did the same thing. I drove it, turned off. So what I'm going to do is keep it in here until I figure out the problem. Um, I did... I think I got closer to the root of the problem. I uh, moved some wires um, down by the ground on the block and it actually started right after that. Um, I just need to figure out which wires is causing it to turn off. And then once I do, I think I'll be good to go. So it's gonna be in a garage until I figure it out. So I'll get back to you guys when I'm ready to work on it. All right guys, um, as you can see, I got the Jeep in the garage. I'm about to start messing with it. I don't know what's going on with it. So this is just me trying to figure it out. So I'm about to set y'all up on my tripod and just work on it. Um, I think I'm gonna time lapse it so you guys don't gotta sit through me doing a whole bunch of stuff. Once I think I figured it out, I'll uh, resume the video and talk about it. So before I start this time lapse, I think it's a ground. So you're gonna be seeing me on the other side of the engine and underneath. Um, I'm gonna check the connections, I'm gonna check things. My, my goal is to figure out what makes it turn off so I can address that problem. Um, so here we go. And this is what I don't get, guys. All I did was move a whole bunch of wires. This is the issue. I, I moved these wires and I can't figure out what's what's causing it just to randomly start. And then when I'm when I'm driving it, whatever wires I'm moving is getting shook loose. Everything looks to be in place, right? It's maybe I need to clean the connectors, check some wires, but all I did was just move some shit. Like, that's what I don't get. Let me let me grab this real quick. Here, I'll show y'all. Let's see. So my go-to thing to move is I check the ground right here. I make sure this is connected, which this connection. Um, I don't, hopefully that's good. I'll check that right now. But I recently started checking that connection down there. Um. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's it. I'm going to get down there and clean it up. Maybe it's dirty inside of there, but we'll see right now. I'm going to try to figure this out. So that wire down there, I cleaned it up um, and cut it because um, some of the wires were exposed. I don't know if that can be an issue, but I fixed some of those wires up, um, put some heat shrink around them. Um, and then I'm going to mess with that sensor down there make sure everything's good and tight and then i'm gonna go for a test drive hopefully it fixes my problem and yeah we'll see so those wires for the coil pack the connector had wires exposed i don't know if that was causing it to stall and turn off but I've been driving it for like 20 minutes and no issues at all. I mean, look. Oh, crap. 
it made it on top of the hill just fine um yeah it's been good i'm gonna keep driving it um i think i'm gonna head more towards home just in case the unfortunate happens i mean this area is kind of boring but it is nice to actually be able to put my jeep in four-wheel drive and use it um after it's sitting in the backyard for so long but yeah i think i'm gonna head home and probably drive around my neighborhood for another 30 40 minutes and see if that fix a problem all right guys um i don't know oh shit y'all see that i guess my welds aren't um as good as i thought well um that's something new but besides that i was gonna take the sway bars off anyways um it's it's been going fine besides that um right now i see that these are actually rocks um i'm about to have a little fun i'm about to come up this way and up here and play around i mean i haven't wheeled in so damn long um i'm gonna try my hand at this and then when i get home i got a little welding project i gotta do now so let me get these sway bars off set you guys up sucks i didn't bring my tripod but i'll find a good spot to set y'all up at and we're gonna have a little bit of fun All right, guys, I drove up this, as you can see, and then for reference, this is about as tall as my hip. So I'm gonna put the phone down at a better angle where you guys can see this. Um, this ain't really wheeling, but at the same time, I haven't even driven up, driven up anything in a while. So I'm having a fun time right now. I'm glad the Jeep is working and I hope it stays this way. Now, let me get this camera set up so y'all can see this. So I just came back from that drive. Um, I drove it on the street, off road, up some rocks, flexed it out, and it did fine. 
So what I'm about to do now is fix this, put the sway bar bracket back on the axle. Sucks that it came off, but um, I'll fix it real quick. And then I'll talk about what I did and then, yeah. All right, so let me show you what I discovered um, earlier when I was underneath the Jeep. So see those wires on the coil pack? They were exposed, they had some bare wire showing. And I think those wires were arcing, causing the Jeep not to run right, misfire, and sometimes not even start because I just took it on a hour, eh, I would say 30 to like 45 minute drive on and off road. I mean, it's all the stuff I did before this clip and it's it did fine. So I'm hoping that fixed my issue. Um, it seems to be running way better than it was before. Um, now, if it's if it's good, I'm gonna drive it for a few days. If it's good, I gotta put a new power steering pump in it because the one I bought, it's, it's shit. It doesn't work right. And um, it just pisses out fluid. It's actually leaking just from sitting in a garage for a minute. And I gotta um, change some bushings out, do a nut and bolt check and a few other things. But as of right now, it's good. So with that being said, like, comment, and subscribe for more.